This is the O Review Podcast. O Review. Welcome to another episode. I'm going to start blasting these out because I have some time. Um, I'm going to try to do two today, so if I have the same clothes on the next one, that's why. Today, I'm going to take a look at something I just got, which is something that's actually only half Oakley. Um, it's actually full Oakley, but it's not branded as Oakley. Um, if you remember a couple years ago, the original straight jacket was rebranded as a torchwear pair for another company, but it was basically the same model, just had the icons and whatnot taken off, but it's really still the same thing. So if you take a look here, I have the Rocket Fish, and you may see this frame as something's a little bit familiar. Yes, this is the Twitch. Without the icon, without the stretch line, basically just with the Rocketfish logo and HDO 3D lenses. Um, I've heard some varying theories as to whether these are the same lenses as the other HDO 3D lenses, but I'll get to that in a second. So I got these. Uh, these have actually been out for a couple years now. I saw them last year. Someone brought them to my attention, so I looked into them. They were going for about $40. Uh, I believe full retail or MSRP was $60, but $40 seemed to be the average price. You could get them on eBay here and there for less. Um, but I never really jumped on them because, you know, there's just so many other things to do. However, I was talking to someone the other day, and basically I looked online again, and I saw them on clearance at Best Buy for $10. So $2 later after some shipping, $12 all said, to get, all said and done. I got a new inbox pair of Rocketfish, aka the Twitches that don't have any icons. So I'm going to compare them against the gas can with the HDO 3D lenses, as well as the two other Twitches that I have in my collection already, and just kind of see what the differences and similarities are. So let's take a look at the Twitches, because that was one of the main questions, was is this actually an Oakley frame, or did Rocketfish just get the uh, frame and then... Oakley put lenses in it. According to the box, it says it does have Oakley 3D optics, so I would believe that they are the same as the gas cam lenses. And as far as the frame material goes, they have the same dual cam hinges, so those are pretty much the same from the original Twitch. And the frame material seems pretty much on par with the O-Matter that's on the other Twitches. So let's go back in a little bit of history. 2006, the second wave of the stretch line was coming out, so we had already passed the, the first round of the Wardens, the Fat Cats, things like that. And iPatch and the Twitch came out around the same time. And that's what we have here. So it's a very flat frame, very low base curvature on it. And the stems really, you know, they're kind of straight too. They have, you know, some accenting here, but it's a very flat frame. It's almost squarish. Um... They were kind of meant for the whole surf crowd and whatnot. It's more of a life. It's actually very much a lifestyle piece. Um, they can be used for you know some sports and whatnot, but due to the flatness of it, uh, it's more along the lines of the frog skin, which wasn't re-released until shortly after. So this is kind of really, um, you know, aside from the gas scan, which even does have more of a wrap, these are really just hitting that lifestyle crowd. A year later, stretch line fell apart. Was pretty much disbanded. Um, and most of them moved to what almost became, or was originally called a block line, but that didn't stick around as well. So really what we ended up with was just the square O. So everything started adopting the square O that the gas can had previously released in 2005. And uh, a lot of things like the Warden, which had been around since the beginning of the stretch line, took the square icon, the Montefrio, and the Twitch. So those are really the models that transitioned and had a little bit more shelf life. And the funny thing is the Twitch actually had the longest shelf life because it came back as the Rocketfish. Now, just from looking at these, and there was a question, um, I posted this on the, the newly new purchase thread on the forum, and someone was asking, you know, can you compare them in person? So here is the profile of the Rocketfish and the Square O Twitch. Here is the profile between the Stretch Line Twitch and the Rocketfish. And they are pretty much dead on. Um, Brian on the Facebook group, he said he got a pair of these recently too. And he was able to switch the lenses too. So he was able to 
Um, basically put genuine Twitch lenses in the Rocketfish frame, and it was really no difference. So um, I would agree that these are Oakley made. Um, they're at least the same exact mold, that I can be sure of. So now let's take a look at the lenses. So I have my Tron Edition gas can, 3D model, as well as the Rocketfish. And this is the only 3D model that I have aside from this one now. Um, there's been the Hobbit variation, there's been a Tintin variation. There's been a few that have been out there, but uh, you know, Tron is actually, I don't want to say it's one of my favorite movies, but I really enjoyed uh, the original when the remake came out, it met mixed reviews, but I really liked it too. Um, so I was really excited to get this pair. It's kind of just one of those new things that I figured I just had to have. So um, I did wear this to the theater, so it was kind of cool to see Tron with the Tron glasses. Um, I haven't seen anything since. I haven't even been to the theater since Tron came out because I don't go that often. But uh, just looking at the lenses here, I do notice that the clarity on the gas can is a little bit higher. So just looking at this versus looking at this, um, I do get a little bit of ghosting, a little bit of hazing, whereas this one is crystal clear. So they both say they have Oakley optics, uh, but again, Brian, who uh, took out the lenses, said they were a lot thinner on the rocket uh, fish. So I would say that the lenses probably are not the same. And just by looking at these two, yeah, I definitely say that this one has a higher build quality, and of course this one goes for 150. This one went for MSRP 60, 40, whatever you could get it for. So I mean, for a $12 investment versus a 150, yeah, you can't complain that much. Um, I believe this was meant specifically for passive 3D TVs. This probably would also work with passive 3D theater experiences too. Will not work on IMAX and neither will these because they're not meant for that. The IMAX 3D technology uses sort of a spherical uh, polarizing filter whereas these are more just linear. So that's a brief overview of the Rocketfish compared to the 3DO optics from the gas can as well as the other Twitch models. Hope you enjoy that and I will get another video out soon. Thanks.